Getting set for race number one from Red Shores in Charlottetown this afternoon as the horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Vance Cameron, the sun is out, and we've got some horse racing here in Charlottetown. Beauty day. Absolutely, Mr. McPhee. We're going to have the first of a dozen lining up here in race one. Windsun Rebel, Gordy's Last Full, Woodmere Soul, J.K. Cowboy, Tyler's Beach Boy, just chilling it, the Gormanizer and Rocky Road, Slim Jim, Post time. The rough and pacing Woodmere Soul, J.K. Cowboy, Gordy's last full, Tyler's Beach Boy, a host of levers in here as they make their way around the turn, and here comes J.K. Cowboy. On to take over the lead, Woodmere Soul second, driving up on the outside, third is Tyler's Beach Boy. In at the rail, fourth, Windsun Rebel, then fifth, Gordy's last fall. Sixth, just chilling it. Then the Gormanizer and trailing the field. Rocky Road, Slim Jim, spent hard to make the lead, but here comes Tyler's Beach Boy to take over. On by the opening quarter in line to Jacob Sweet, and they were at that opening station in 28 and 2. J.K. Cowboy is second, Woodmere Soul third, Windsun Rebel fourth. Fifth is Gordy's last foal, just chilling it in six. Then the Gormanizer seventh, and on the outside, the trailer eighth. Rocky Road, Slim Jim, they approach the midway point. Tyler's Beach Boy will have them halfway home. Second is J.K. Cowboy, then in third, Woodmere Soul. Fourth is Windsun Rebel, just chilling it. Up on the outside to take over for 58 and 3 was the half mile. As they move around the panic turn, approaching 5 8, led by Tyler's Beach Boy. J.K. Cowboy is second. Woodmere Soul out of the turn, third. Wins on a rebel, fourth. Just chilling it outside, fifth on the cones. Gordy's last pole is sixth. Rocky Road, Slim Jim now on the outside, races seventh. The trailer. That's the Gormanizer. They're over to three quarters. Tyler's Peach Boy maintaining the lead lead on J.K. Cowboy. There goes Woodmere Soul to the outside third. Three quarters up in one. 29 and two with an eighth left to go. Tyler's Peach Boy turning for home with the lead. Woodmere Soul on the outside second going to the passing lane is J.K. Cowboy deep in the stretch as they land on the line next. And it's J.K. Cowboy in line to Dale Spence. Second, Tyler's Beach Boy. Woodmere Soul is third. Time of the mile in one. 59 3. Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number one from Red Shores in Charlottetown this afternoon, kicking off a Sunday afternoon. And, yeah, they were battling early here. Tyler's Beach Boy and Jacob Sweet. They were outside for a little bit, uh, but did clear 28-2. and two. That's brisk here for the end of November. 58-3, and three. J.K. Cowboy sitting in the two-hole, watching it all unfold up front. They raced the backside, 129-2. and two. Tyler's Beach Boy still pretty strong. Adam with the three-hole pop with Woodmere Soul, but he couldn't get there today. But it all set up for Dale as he just sneaks down the passing lane here late and gets the job done here. J.K. Cowboy, a winner with Spence. Very patient today. They let uh, the five Tyler's Beach Boy do all the road work and then that set up for him and he took advantage of a perfect pocket ride slips down the passing lane to win the opener here for Spence second a good second Tyler's Beach Boy third Woodmere Soul four five three in the first at Red Shores J.K. Cowboy arriving at the first race winner's circle. Bay facing gelding eight by Brandon's Cowboy from the Cam Lock Dam J.K. Lock. Owned by Greg McGinnis of Time Valley. Greg does the training. Dale Spence, the winning driver. 
Top of the mile in 159 and 3, JK Cowboy in the afternoon's opener.